Greetings on uh, December 31st, 2016. Um, yeah, it's um, it's about eight o'clock, um, and uh, I am out for a run. That's right, I'm at the grocery store and um, picking up. I'm responsible for picking up some drinks for New Year's. And uh, just to give you an idea of how crazy it's going to be. This area in here is called the Beer Cave. Literally, the Beer Cave. It's just all beer. There are tons of beers in here. We've got some extra strong drinks for tonight. Note the decaf. Yep, that's what kind of evening we're planning on having. Yeah, so you can see it's going to be a, a, a great evening. I'm excited about it actually, and we get to spend the evening with my family and uh, my extended family. And uh, tomorrow, on January 1st, I am uh, heading back to Seattle. So, 2016 year in review, uh, great year. Uh, learned a lot this year. A couple of highlights is the month of January, I was completely held up. I didn't um, work uh, really a single day in January this past year because I had had back surgery. And then uh, the first part of the year, we kind of went through some rough things in business. And some of them were, um, looking back, obviously some major issues on, on, my part with some, well, on my part with some of our personnel and some of our team, and uh, have really grown since then. And uh, can look at the second half of the year uh, as to having some major, major growing opportunities. And I'm really excited for uh, the hardship that we went through because um, I can look at 2017 and see how great of a year is going to be because of all the things that we learned. So that's awesome, and I do love adversity because uh, it creates an amazing platform for us to grow. Um, some of the biggest issues that we faced. Uh, we're keeping our team happy at the office and uh, I think that that's uh, quite possibly in business a uh, number one priority that we want to focus in on and, uh, and have. The other thing that was exciting this year is uh, we added another family member um, to my family. Uh, I had my third daughter and uh, I'm very proud to be a daddy of uh, three little girls. And uh, I had some amazing opportunities to travel around the country and see some different things. My uh, career coaching company and uh, it took, uh, took uh, some new levels and some new ground uh, with us um, seeing some opportunities for additional growth into uh, not just the optometry schools but into new arenas. And the video component of uh, my, my business Optometric Insights has really grown and uh, now I'm expanding uh, my personal blog into this. So, again, not a lot of meat in this particular vlog, uh, just kind of sharing with you a little bit about review. I still consider myself to be somewhat, somewhat on vacation, um, although I did write a three-hour article this morning. Um, woke up at six before anybody in the family to get my last article out for the year. So, uh, and looking at 2017, I'm really excited uh, about a host of different things, and I'll save those for another vlog session. So I'm curious to hear what you did in your uh, in your December 31st evening, January 1st, and what you have planned for 2017. Would you tweet me, or would you uh, comment to me on Facebook? And also, I'd love to hear your comments on YouTube if you uh, do that. If you do watch this vlog on YouTube and uh, are a regular on YouTube, I'd love for you to subscribe down here and um, you'll be uh, hearing more of my vlogs in the coming future. Uh, my commitment to you is to attempt, if possible, to keep all of my vlogs underneath um, five minutes if possible. Sometimes we'll go a little bit over if we're doing a product review or if we're doing a review with uh, another clinician. So with that, I'll end it before we get too long and uh, come back after the first of the year and we'll have some exciting things for you.